Hey babe, it's Vidic here and welcome to episode 2 of Rags to Riches here on Old School RSPS. Now we're going to get right into the progress here, but first we're giving away two $50 bonds, two winners of course. All you've got to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Old School RSPS in-game name down below. And just as an FYI for anybody that's new here, when I pick winners, I will respond to your comment with instructions how to claim your award. I also put the winners' names in the pinned comment, in the description, and in the giveaway section of my Discord. Okay, so we left off last episode at the Warriors Guild ready to get our Dragon Defender. Now, I was fully prepared to spend a couple hours here for the 100th time in my life until I saw a comment by GIM Wook saying, if you have 60 defense, you'll immediately get a Dragon Defender. Was he lying? My god, he wasn't. Is it too early to say this is my favorite server ever? And there it is, the fastest Dragon Defender I have ever earned. Took like, what, 10 minutes? And sorry to the guy that was there with me who said he was a thousand tokens dry. But we got our beautiful little red rocket. And back to the Slayer grind. My plan is to max out our strength while I've only got the Dragon Skimmy. That way, when we move on to the whip, we can just train our attack and defense, not have to worry about shared. Shared. Disgusting. Okay, so I'm loving these tasks with Turio. As long as I don't forget to activate the challenges, we get four Slayer points every like three minutes. However, it looks like there are task streaks here. We're right at number nine, so our 10th task should give us five times points, meaning it would be best to use the highest point giver Slayer master possible, which should be Konar. And Black Demons are perfect. We're going to be doing as much Slayer as possible in the Catacombs, which ties directly into my first big money making method. The series is called Rags to Riches after all, we gotta get rich, right? And what better place to do that than Demonic Gorillas. They drop Zenites, which make the best in slot jewelries, so they will always be expensive and in high demand. But to kill them efficiently, I feel like an Arc Light is gonna be really nice to have. We're going to have to save up 5,000 PVM points to buy the Dark Light, and then use three Ancient Shards from the monsters in the Catacombs to turn it into an Arc Light. Also, all the monsters in the Catacombs are aggressive and multi, so I highly recommend doing tasks here whenever possible. And oh baby, 90 Slayer points from a single task. Not bad at all. But I'm spending way too much money on pots, and I thought about farming, but Horvik over here actually sells herbs. Randers are only 2k each, which is much cheaper than the 10k per prayer pot at the supply store. Plus, we could probably also make a decent amount of money selling them in the GE. So it's 1k per decant, meaning each 4 dose potion costs around 3.5k to make. I threw a few offers into the GE at different prices to just sit and see what happens. Now, to kill demonic gorillas, we need two styles. Melee and ranged are best, so we're going to continue our strategy of 9 tasks at Turiel, every 10th task at Konar for the most efficient slayer points. And like the starter sword, the starter bow is actually really strong and has no requirements, so we will definitely be saving that for when we go to a lower XP rate. And how are our charges from the halo looking? 480. Almost enough to buy a single page, but obviously we need 4, so we have a ways to go. Banshees, Banshees, uh, Bears, Ghosts, Spiders, Bats, something, something, I forget, Wolves. There, that's another 9 tasks done, getting us up to 85 range in the process. Now it's time for another big boy, 90 Slayer Point boost from Konar. Oh god, Avancies. That's like the worst possible task we could get. And actually, not as bad as I thought. If you go to the west end of the room, there's a nice little closed-in crevice with a couple Avancies and no other aggressive monsters around to bother you. So not bad. And we didn't get 90 Slayer points from this one, we actually got 105. We are already over halfway to unlocking the Slayer Helm. And a little Brimstone Key. Uh, okay. I, that's good. So, we're not ready for this at all, but I really wanted to test out how hard the Demonic Gorillas are here. And what is this? I heard about this Runelite plugin that would predict Demonic Gorilla attacks, but I never actually saw it because it was removed by Jagex. But I guess this is it? And I'm actually a lot stronger than I thought I would be on these guys. I'm not even sure if we're going to need the Arc Light anymore. If the D-Skimmy is doing this well, a whip should be completely fine. Of course, I had to do a full trip, got a few kills, and even got an Elite Clue. 
which is just going to sit in our bank forever. Sorry. So instead of buying the dark light right away, we'll probably end up buying it later. But the shop sells an imbued ring of wealth for 3k points, and that is obviously a much better decision. I'm not exactly sure how much it raises our drop rate, but any little bit helps. All right, fuck it. One more gorilla's trip. You, you good, demonic gorilla? It's kind of just sitting there. This one's a millennial gorilla. He just wants to die. Last kill in this 30 minute trip. Barely squeaked it out, no food and nothing. I tricked you guys. All we got was some seeds. But we got two papaya seed drops, which are one out of 209, while the Zenite is one out of 275, so we're on the right track. Also, some of the prayer potions sold for up to 8k each, so I'm gonna put the rest in for about 7500 and see what happens. I think we can make really good money if we fill up our slots with overpriced pots and resources because some people are bound to get desperate when nobody else is selling. Okay, this is the next day. Did we sell them? Oh, we did. We sold them for 7500 each. My god. We gotta keep doing this. What else can we do? We can probably do prayer, prayer potions, super stores. I mean, our herb lore leveled up super quickly, so we can pretty much do anything. I feel like having these slots empty, we are wasting money. This could be, and obviously is, probably our best money-making method right now. Just selling a bunch of random shit on the Grand Exchange. I know we can also make super combat potions. I think we need a higher level for that, though. Let's buy some supplies for super stores, and we will see how much we can profit off of that. It's Snapdragons, how much are these? 6k each, oof. The store sells super stores for... Wait, it doesn't sell super stores. Okay, before we go balls deep in these, though... Uh, because this, the prayer potions are actually pretty good. How much are these? 13.5 is the lowest price I think people are selling it for. And the lowest price people are buying it for is 10k. Which means I could probably put it in for like 13k. And they'll sell over time. Alright, let's do this. Let's make a bunch of these pouts. Alright, let's do a little bit of a... Whoa, what the fuck? How long has this thing been running for? 20 days? 31 hours? Alright, let's reset that. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little timer and see how long it takes for us to turn all of these into potions that way we can kind of calculate our gp per hour but let's go 14 14 oh f it's already fucked you do have to clean them which slows it down a little bit more but i mean some extra free herbal experience can't hurt and oh wait a minute okay i'm already do I'm already being inefficient probably pissing some of you guys off seeing this so if we just do that and that we should be able to preset capture this moment and we should be able to just click last preset now oh yes oh so good Dude, we could probably make so much money doing this. Let me just gonna make another preset. Herb 2. There we go. Easy money. Alright, finishing up here. Just nearing 6 minutes. So we mixed 135 potions in 6 minutes. It costs about 6k each, but since we're turning them into 4 doses, that means they're about 7,500 per potion. And then I think it's gonna be 8,500. Yeah. Per potion because we gotta decant them go ahead and put and i'm gonna go ahead and put these on for 15 16k so we spent 945k and if these all sell they'll sell for a little over 1.6 mil so it's about a 650k 700k profit in six minutes so multiply that by 10 6.5 mil an hour it's okay i guess but what i was really curious about are super combat potions how much are these? So this guy's selling them for 15k each, and people are buying them for nothing. Uh, no buy offers. It doesn't necessarily mean much though. Somebody's selling them for 15. We could probably sell them for a little more, like 18. Yeah. Only problem is super strengths and defenses from this drop are 7k each. So I'd have to make all of the prerequisite potions, and then also buy the. Okay, not worth it. Super combat's not worth it. But we'll see how these sell. Jesus. Super anti fire potions going for 180k each. I think you need superior dragon bones for this, which are going for 40k. Holy shit. Okay, we're going to research a bunch of this stuff. I really want to fill up our grand exchange with sell offers so we're making passive money over time. But I will be researching that in between episodes. When we come back next time, we'll have that baby nice and full. So that's going to do it for episode 2 of Rags to Riches here on Old School RuneScape. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm really liking the server. And it's awesome because there's so much more stuff for us to get to. We haven't even started thinking about raids. And not only are there raids 1 and 2, there's also their own raids 3, which is amazing. Honestly, one of the best pieces of custom content I've ever seen on RSPS. But yeah, like the video if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you want me to do more videos.
Eller vad det är. 